Carmania at the Car Fair in Frankfurt. Presented by Bimmer Manufaktur, your partner for professional BMW retrofits. One of the most beautiful coupes in the world has always been, in my eyes, the Bentley Continental GT. And this is not the facelift, again not the facelift, just like many other cars that we filmed today. It's the third generation of the Bentley Continental GT. And finally, Bentley got rid of the Volkswagen Phaeton platform and now offers a totally changed car. Look at that front grille, how beautiful this is. And these headlights, this is what makes that car so amazingly beautiful. And Bentley did a change with the front axle. They positioned the front axle 13 and a half centimeters to the front and that makes it possible to have a more flat and longer bonnet that you can see now even if the normal or the previous Bentley Continental GT also used to have a flat and long bonnet but now it's more flat and longer and take a look at that writing here the 12 it's the W12 just like with the Audi A8 Bentley hasn't just thrown out the, um, the W12 of the program you still have it in that case with 635 horsepower so you can imagine that this is a car that's a lot quicker than it seems to be because it's more majestic it's elegant it's it's just the brutally beautiful British coupe take a look at that back view oh my gosh every time when you think that Bentley cannot improve the optics they prove that they can Bentley Continental GT from the back view with these huge blendings again but this is almost the same with every car maker you have these exhaust blendings because behind that is hiding the exhaust pipes but no one gets that close to see that so it doesn't really bother the design is amazing again take a look at the back lights so I can't really tell you a coupe right now on the market being more beautiful than the Bentley Continental GT. And now checking out the interior, you know what you expect. You expect lots of chrome, lots of piano, lots of leather. And this is actually what you get. Take a look at these patterns here. That's typically Bentley and that steering wheel take a look at that again a digital dashboard of course slowly every bicycle has a digital dashboard of course like that a bentley gt continental gt needs to have the same take a look at the center console with these buttons where for example porsche with the new cayenne gets rid of the buttons and does touch surfaces the Bentley stays faithful to the buttons to the classical buttons and of course creates a luxurious optics now even with a bigger screen in the center so a big nav screen and the air condition unit is in the right side of the center display and and next to that to the left you can see the nav map the leather Bentley typical, you can see it maybe here on the back seat. Beautiful, amazingly beautiful. And with that amount of power, actually, you have everything that you need. Look at these rims, massive rims. It's 22 inches, <laughs> 22 inches, with that brake behind it that you can buy almost a middle class car of. So the Bentley Continental GT always impresses me every time when they release a new model. So it's breathtaking, breathtakingly beautiful in my eyes. And I don't even know if it fits in a garage because take a look at that body of that car, how wide it is. Take a look at that. It's <laughs> amazing if you take, you know, I would like to take it home just to try it out if it fits in the garage, but unfortunately I don't think that they give it away. <laughs> the Bentley Continental GT here at the car fair in Frankfurt, the third generation, got rid of the platform of the Phaeton, of the Volkswagen Phaeton, still with a W12, 635 horsepower. This is Carmania, don't forget to subscribe and please let me know in the comment box 
which coupe you know that is more beautiful than that one here. I'm Chris.